Hello everybody, welcome to my little channel. Thank you for dropping by. Um, today in my sketchbook I'll be drawing uh, a sci-fi scene as usual and we're gonna go for some kind of a control room in uh, a place full of screens and crowded and hopefully interesting to look at. Anyway, uh, on my last video I had uh, an interesting comment asking me to talk about the gear I use. So I think we're going to focus on that today uh, while we watch me draw in the background here. Now let's start with, you know, the basic stuff. Uh, my sketchbook uh, is always the same. It's a moleskin uh, A4. And I like it because the paper is not completely white, and I think it gives a, a bit of warmth to the drawings. It's smooth and thick enough to take markers really well, even though it does bleed through. So I uh, usually have uh, uh, some kind of uh, a paper behind the, the page I'm drawing on to protect the next one. But overall, I think they're great sketchbooks. They're nice quality. They, uh, they hold well through time. And... Yeah, I'm comfy with them, so that's uh, that's what I'm using. In terms of what I'm using right now on the drawing, uh, I'm using the ruler, which gets everybody very, very curious. Uh, this is an M plus R reference 1530000, uh, also known as a rolling ruler. It's uh, super practical to do parallel lines because of the little wheels. And I like also that it's it has a lot of uh, uh, lines uh, next to the protractor, so it gives you a big uh, a big surface on which you can you can use the the different tools on the ruler. Uh, you know, a basic ruler works as well. A protect protractor works. Um, the square triangle things I don't know how they're called in English. <laughs> uh, all that you know just works super fine. This is just it's a little fancy, but I think it's uh, it's pretty helpful. You can find uh, all the gear I'm going to mention on, on Amazon, I think. Uh, I'll try to link if I can. Um, the mechanical pencil I'm using is uh, a recent purchase. It's a Pentel Graph Gear 1000. I just decided to splash a whole 12 euros on a nice mechanical pencil. And what I like about this one is that it's got a pretty hefty weight and mostly it's got a pretty long tip. And that's very useful because, uh, you know, I put my vanishing points on the left side on the on another page and very often my ruler doesn't sit flat against the paper. And having a long tip on the, uh, on the mechanical pencil helps uh, with the process. Um, yeah, it's just a practical thing and I wanted to buy myself something fancy. So there you go. Now let's talk a little bit about the drawing. You can see it fill up here. It's a two-point perspective, as usual. Interior, I've put a reasonably low ceiling because I want everything to be cramped. And to emphasize that, I'm, I've put that block on top here, which is going to be housing some screens. And then I proceeded to put the two chairs in position. And for a foreground, I've got this weird uh, slope thing here on the down left. Uh, we're going to turn that into something in a moment. And, uh, and we'll see how that works out. Uh, I wanted to have that console on the left of the right seat as well to break up a bit the, the symmetry of the drawing and make it more, more busy. It's uh, surfaces to just put a lot of buttons and screens and the likes. So you see right now I'm just filling up space, trying to break up surfaces a bit, try not to have anything too flat, too square. Um, just room for a bunch of stuff, a bunch of vents, pseudo-technical stuff. Uh, and there you go. Now, let's talk about this pen. Uh, this is my absolute favorite pen in the world, and I think it's the best pen ever made. This is a Pilot GTEC C4 0.4. Uh, if I could have only one pen, that would be it. Um, it's super versatile. It's quite unforgiving, so it takes a bit of practice uh, before you, you start to, uh, to truly enjoy it. Uh, but it's capable of doing the darkest, really deepest black, and also capable of doing some very, very thin, very, very light lines, uh, depending on how you angle it and how much pressure you will put on it. Um, it allows me to do pretty much everything I want to do with a pen. 
and uh, I cannot have enough of those. I constantly have five, six in in my uh, in my toolbox, and probably five, six more in my in my reserve in case for some reason I can't get some for a while. Uh, this is yeah my absolute favorite, but it's also it's an acquired taste. It's it's pretty unforgiving. Um, but it's cheap, so try it. They're like, they're like maybe a year and a half, two euros each. Uh, not the end of the world. Uh, here I'm using for the outlines a Papermate Flare Medium, uh, which again is uh, cheap. You can buy boxes of 20 for like 12 bucks. And uh, it might be a little too thick at times, but I, I, still, I still think it works pretty well for what I want to do in the style I'm going for here. So it's not something I'd use in... in any kind of drawing you know but for uh for what i do in my sketchbook it works i think it works pretty fine it works great for my practice as well um it's great for black and white sketching uh combined with uh, the pilot pen so yeah give it a try if you feel uh i'm on the lookout for the uh, ultra thin version but i just can't put my hands on it uh there's some on amazon.co.uk but they won't ship to me and i haven't really found it anywhere else so i'll have to keep looking for that anyway you see now that we have uh pretty much everything in place in the drawing we're just gonna have to add some details and uh that's what i'm working on right now so we're putting some fins down there i'm guessing this is some type of ventilation system because why not um i've isolated some small blocks uh, on the panels in front of the seats to put some buttons and some gauges and some more screens probably and now it's just about you know filling empty spaces making the uh, the drawing look busy but not stupid busy hopefully just uh, just busy enough um and where to stop is when i pretty much run out of room so yeah buttons 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 different little panels maybe a a, a floppy disk drive somewhere i did not put any reel to reel on this one Maybe I should have. Hmm. We'll see. Anyway, fill with buttons. Um, I'm struggling a bit these days to just try and find new kinds of uh, of buttons and switches and and so on. Um, I'm a bit stuck, and I think I don't I don't have enough variety in what I'm using. But again, that's something I'm uh, I'm working on. And for now, the uh, the ones I have in my visual library, as they say, uh, kind of do the job. But yeah, I want to get a bit of variation on that. Very soon here, we're going to pop out the alcohol markers, which is what I use all the time for color. Um, I really, I've been meaning to get into watercolor. I have a sketchbook, Moleskin as well, for, uh, for watercolor. I have the watercolor. What I don't have is the time and the energy to deal with the frustration of sucking at it while, uh, while I begin. <sighs> but we'll get there eventually it's it's definitely on my list of the things i really want to do watercolor is light fast it it, it allows for everything i want to do in my drawings and and i really like the result when i when i see uh, what people can do with it so i will eventually get there but for now we're going to be using alcohol markers uh, the brand i prefer is obviously copic i mean i've been i've been trying a a bunch and there is a reason why uh, they are the industry standard. I mean, nothing comes close, to be honest. Um, but nothing comes close to their price either, which is a bit of a problem. Uh, talking about which, all my markers are drying and I'm, I'm running out of colors. And you can help me with that if you were to join my Patreon. Um, Every little subscription helps and every little subscription goes into filling the bank for buying more markers because these days I work with markers and I have the feeling that I work only to be able to afford the tool that allows me to work, eh, which is tough. But uh, yeah, take a look at my Patreon. Uh, I'll be putting some exclusive content, uh, maybe some uh, download downloadable wallpapers. Uh, and mostly I'll be doing some videos where I get a little deeper in the technique of one, two, three point perspective, design and stuff like that. Take a peek. Um, all help is appreciated. 
uh, now back to what I'm using and it's not Copic actually on this one I was wrong these are Shin Han touch twin markers the the first brand I bought and honestly they're okay uh, they're not they're not bad they're not as good as Copic they don't blend as well they don't necessarily layer as well but really I think they're quite decent and they're probably half the price if that so it's uh it's not a bad choice I like Windsor Newton Pro markers as well I think they work pretty well and uh, there are some what are they called style file marker which I think are not too bad I might I might consider buying another set of those I've been using some cool grays they call them cool grays but to me they're very uh, bluish grays but I think they're quite nice I use them a lot for shadows in, in buildings so these were not too bad um, I did try oh hoo -hoo. <laughs> well, I already pronounced that recently and yeah you get what you pay for I mean I think I think they were terrible they're they're good enough for solid colors but they don't layer at all they really blend quite poorly and uh, there's not enough even in a set of what is it 32 48 markers I got uh, so many of them are so close that it's it's hard to make a difference in in color and tone so they get great uh, reviews online and on YouTube and stuff, but I really, really didn't like them. I would not recommend them. If you want to go, you know, if your budget's tight, I think you're better off with a few Pro Markers or Shinhan or Copics than with a bunch of 72 Ohuhus or, or equivalent. So that's up to you. Try them out. See how you feel about it. This is just my opinion. Um, I'm obviously not sponsored by anyone here, so this is uh, this is honest, genuine reviews. So yeah, these uh, Shinhan Touch Twin, as I said, are not too bad, and they've kept juicy for a very long time, which I, I really appreciate because uh, even my Copic dried pretty quick. I bought some uh, Chao ones, and the quality is the same as uh, any other Copic, but they hold way less ink and they uh, they dry faster, and. Uh, Copic ink is getting harder to find online for refills, so that's something to keep in mind when you when you purchase markers. Anyway, pushing the contrast here on the on, on my drawing, making it look a little uh, a little deeper, a little more three D. And I really like the design of this one. It's not a, it's not all the time that I I do something I'm really happy with, and this one I think in the end turned turned out really pretty cool and the way I wanted it, which is which is rare enough to be <laughs> worthy of being mentioned. So there you go, pushing contrast on this. Maybe a little too far, but eh, you gotta try things, yeah. This is sketchbooking again. It's here for uh, for exper experimenting a little bit. So there we go, let's fill this up, push the contrast. And we're bringing now my newest little toy. This is a Stabilo Carbotello white pencil and I'm still learning to use it, but I'm liking it more and more and more. Uh, this was recommended by the great product designer maker uh, on YouTube, which I strongly recommend you check out. And it's super chalky. It allows you to make some very uh, crisp highlights and also uh, much more delicate stuff because you can rub it with your finger and just uh, blend it in the surroundings or almost erase it if you if you want. Uh, it's a really nice little tool. I highly, highly recommend it. I, I used to use uh, Posca pens and stuff like that for my highlights, and now this is this is all I go for. Anyway, we're reaching the end of this video. Under 15 minutes, we made it. Thank you for dropping by. Give a like, give a subscribe if you haven't. It really helps. Do consider checking out my Patreon. And I've got a sale going on on my imprint. Link in my uh, description. Thank you. Goodbye. See you next time.